Hello and welcome. I am exquisitely excited. Um, we have got a brand new company, um, a brand new guest, brand new products, um, and oh my gosh, um, Leah Griffith has got some pedigree. Um, I've been reading all about her. She's um, been published, she's worked on TV before, she's created the most incredible uh, flowers. She creates some incredible uh, tutorials as well. Tutorials that will give you um, so much inspiration for your home to create beautiful handcrafted things for the home out of as you can see paper here but felt leather um, beautiful materials there's so much that Leah has done she's she's an incredible lady and I've been watching just a little bit of uh, some of the other TV appearances she's done but um, thankfully we have got Leah um, by Skype live by Skype here for us um, hello and welcome Leah welcome to the craft store Thank you. I am so happy to be here. Oh. I have been looking forward to this. It's what, 10 o'clock here in Portland, Oregon in the morning. So here we are. I'm ready to craft. Oh, Leah. Um, Leah, I've been reading so much about you. I mean, your website for starters is absolutely beautiful. Um, obviously, you know, I know you're, you know, you're, you're famous around the world. I know you've got a massive following um, in the States and of course in Europe. But for anybody who doesn't know you here, in the, the UK. Tell us a little bit about yourself and how you started this incredible journey. I started eight years ago. Um, I was working as a creative director for a wedding company and I actually had been blogging for them and doing DIY wedding projects and I really found a passion in that. And then, you know, the best thing that happened to me, I got laid off from my job <laughs> and so I knew I was going to start this company. And there we go. I started as a blogger in 2013 and I, every day, every day I would craft a new project. I would put, put it on my blog, teach people how to make it and little by little it just became something uh, that you know is being shared all over the world yeah. and the most important thing for me is that I can inspire people to get in there and craft and find their creative self yes. so that's that's my goal oh do you know what um, you are so good at it I mean when I've looked at some of the things that you create they are it is really inspirational you know your your website is just full of beautiful projects your Instagram is full of things that I want to do and things that I've never seen before. I mean, the paper vases, and I know that's not what we've got here, but oh my gosh, absolutely incredible. Now, um, whilst we're, I think we're doing technical things, while we're doing that, um, I'm going to talk about what we've got for you. Now, this is the brand new one day special. It's already so busy and I am not surprised. Now, you've got three kits. It's going to be dispatched from the 30th, obviously coming over from America. What's really important, there's a lot Lots of important factors. For starters, we are talking quality, things that you might not have been able to get hold of um, easily and readily in the UK. What is important? Have you seen what you can create? I mean, these flowers are sensational. We have got so many beautiful flowers. I mean, the peonies in there, the lilies, they are absolutely sensational. Now, what Leah's done, she has partnered with a German uh, manufacturing company to produce high quality crepe paper and that's exactly what Leah works with. So she works with quality products which is why you have got those rich intense colours and obviously the, the movement of the crepe paper which is so important. Now don't they look amazing, look at that rose. How sensational is that? So you are going to be getting the poppy, the peony and the rose. You are getting all three kits. You're getting all the beautiful things that you can make, but you get everything to make them. So you're getting all the, um, the crepe paper. As I said, this is quality crepe paper. Leah made sure she works with a, a German manufacturer, manufacturer that only produced top quality crepe paper. You get the floral wire, you get the floral tip, you get the... Um, the foam balls there as well. You also get, and this is something that Leah is 
big on making sure you can do it so you get instructions but you get video tutorials which is so important and this is what Leah specializes in um, you've also got um, with this you've got you can cut the, all the shapes out uh, the petals out yourself but they've even got um, a file so if you've got your your Cricut then you've got a file so you can actually cut them out which is just fabulous um, absolutely amazing um, if you do want to go for this it is so so busy now look at your saving already a 15 pound saving already 10 percent of stock has gone i am not surprised your first payment is only 22.49 that is so affordable when you look at what you are going to be able to create that is so affordable now 369411 is your item number i can't wait to get back and speak to leah more um please check your baskets out now we have got extra crepe paper we will be going down the the counter in a little while to show you but you've got double-sided crepe paper I've never seen double-sided crepe paper before it's got two different color tones absolutely beautiful you've got lightweight so extra fine crepe paper and then you've got heavyweight crepe paper um, so you've got uh, you can choose any two of the colors that we've got available there are on the website so please check it out I love that you've got all of this because you know you're going to be working with quality materials that Leah's going to be talking about and that is so important and obviously pop those into your flexi basket now it is really really busy if you've got questions email in Leah is going to be joining us live from America uh, throughout the night in every single hour so please if you've got any questions email in now lovely I think we've um, we've got rid of all the the gremlins in the system um, and when I was reading about you you have got some impressive CV have you have you done children's clothes as well I actually did that was <laughs> quite a while ago when I had a daughter who was young now she's an adult <laughs> but I had a clothing line as well yeah you've done everything you've done everything Leah I don't know you've managed to squeeze it all in <laughs> <laughs> I love my work I do I love to create I also used to have a flower shop so that's why flowers come yeah. so naturally but one thing I did want to mention when you were talking about the paper vases I you know the, one of the things that I love about growing a company from a solo blogger to a full company is I now have a team of creatives that work with me and all of them I have three other girls that help me create these beautiful things and all of them are so talented yeah. and just really can bring new levels of beauty to all of our our people that we share with that's lovely and it's so nice having a yeah. team because you you'll inspire each other won't you you'll bounce off each other which is so exciting um i am going to mention as well leah because I, I did look it up um the the paper couture collection that you did because you did loads of beautiful <laughs> dresses didn't you I did. That was really more of a fun project, like an art project. And I've made so many paper dresses. And it's funny, I just actually posted a video of the last dress that I made, wow. which was about four years ago. And I made that out of crepe paper. Most of my other dresses were made out of more of a copy paper that I printed on my printer and then Amazing. cut out the paper and formed these drip gowns. Yeah. Oh, honestly, if anybody's watching now, you have to go and check that out. You can find it online. It is so impressive. Um, Leah, Shall we let you get ready for your demonstration? Sure. I Thank can start you. talking. Is everything working okay? We're good I on think the gremlins? So. I think so. So okay, while good. we let you get ready, I'll just... Um, I wait. Yeah. What we'll do, while we let you get ready, I'm just going to give everybody a little bit of a clip. You know the video tutorial. Now, this, this is actually sped up. You're not going to get it at this speed. It will be at workable speed, of course. Um, but this is amazing because what you've got with this, it's going to take you step by step. There's a video for each kit. And uh, this is, again, this is what Leah absolutely um, excels in. Teaching is definitely one of her passions um, and she will take you through step by step making these beautiful beautiful florals there's so many good techniques here I mean things that you know once you you've you've done them it's like oh my gosh why didn't I think of that um, so please 
make sure you check your baskets out. That's how you'll get the wonderful kits with these video tutorials. It is very, very busy. In fact, 20% of the stock has gone. I don't know about you, but I just want to have a go. Um, they will be delivered to you. Make sure you've got your extra crepe papers as well. The crepe papers are beautiful. Please, please, please check your baskets out. It is thecraftstore.com. OK, can we go back to Leah? Oh, she's chatting. Um, OK, so um, if you do want to get hold of anything, please check your baskets out. It is so, so busy. Uh, that is 369411. That's your item number. It is your one-day special. This is such a fantastic launch and such a brilliant introductory price, saving £15 today. So, yeah, whatever you do, please do not make, uh, miss out on this. Because do you know what? The kits are £19.99 on their own. You're getting three kits here with that £15 saving, so you've almost got one for nothing. Um, 369-411. OK, she's ready to go. Leah, over to you. What would you like to share with us, first of all? Well, today, I well, this, in this session, I'm going to show you guys the rows. And I just wanted to let you know, though, that if you keep watching, I will be working on the poppy. Oh, wow. And I'll also be working on the peonies. So all three of these, even though we have these beautiful kits and then we have the, the templates inside the kit, because these are, you know, we always try to upgrade and make our, our templates better and make our teaching better. When you buy this, you'll automatically get the updated pattern which is what I'm working with today I don't know if you can see that there you go Amazing. so I have you can print it or you can use your cutting machine one thing I did want to mention just to be really clear for people when you um, cut on the cutting machine all of the crepe paper no matter what type of crepe paper you will want a cutting machine with a rotary blade so that means it needs to be a Cricut maker or a silhouette four with the rotary blade there's it's somewhat like fabric and it does stretch so you need right. that pressure of the rotary blade rather than dragging of the knife blade Amazing. so just want to put that out there yeah thank you but Leah. so good luck and I cut all of mine today with that blade I want to show you guys a little demo though on on the crepe paper itself We'll do an overhead here. So this is the double-sided crepe paper. I'll hold it up really high. And you can see how it's slightly a different yeah. color on one side than the other. And the double-sided crepe paper has two of this extra fine crepe papers that are glued together. I'll show you some other ones too. This is the extra fine crepe paper. And you can see how delicate, oh, no, I'm sorry, this is the double-sided. <laughs> this is an extra fine crepe paper. All my colors are the same, so. <laughs> Where you can see how delicate it is and how the grain lines are so fine. Yeah. But this is what makes crepe paper so interesting are the grain lines because on our patterns, you'll notice that we have these little markings that show the grain line, and you really do want to follow that grain line when you cut the, the petals. If you cut, the, cut them sideways, you will not get the same effect because the way that you stretch it and the way you curl it is really enhanced by that grain line. Of course. Yeah, thank so you. So that okay. is, yeah. So let me show you. I'm going to do a little demo. In this, in this kit, you can make three large roses. You can mix it up if you want to. You could actually make more if you want, but this is how I like to do it. I do three of the largest, three of the medium, three of the small, and three of the buds, and then you have a dozen roses. Wow. And then there's also enough crepe paper to make a lot of these gorgeous leaves. You can make a whole bouquet wow. out of these roses, out of this one kit. Oh, and they look so good, Leah. They look beautiful. They really... No, I, I'm telling you, I've made so many different roses. This is by far my favorite rose. I also want to show you something else. Here it is in the double-sided red. Oh, wow. That's amazing. So you really, could use, you really could use any. And I think if you start with the kit and you feel really comfortable making, you know, the roses, which I promise you will because we do a really good tutorial, that you could make them out of any color of crepe paper. Amazing. So I just wanted to point out with this rose, it's simply four different petal shapes, and it's really about how you treat the paper, how you stretch it. And we have, you know, the small one, and each rose, you know, for the bud, there's this size. For the bud and the medium, there's two petals. For the bud, I'm sorry, the small. And then the medium has three, and then the large has four sizes. So you can just kind of keep building your rows as yeah. you go, and you can also really customize it. 
So I'm going to show you a little demo on stretching and curling the crepe paper. Cool. One of my favorite tools when I'm working with crepe paper or any type of paper is this curling tool. And we also have this for you guys today. Oh, so fabulous. if you want to grab one of these, I highly recommend it. Um, so what I do is I use this curling tool. I hold my thumb right against the end there and then I just slide the paper through and I when I first started making crepe paper flowers or any paper flowers I would use the edge of my scissors yeah. like this yeah which also works I mean that works but this works better you know okay. yeah so I really recommend this and you can see how I'm doing it at an angle yes. and I'm just pulling it through and that way I get this beautiful point yeah that looks real then, straight away isn't that beautiful? Yeah. And then I just sort of gently stretch it. I pretend like this is clay. And then I might add a little stretch right here to get a little point. Yeah. And then roll that, and then there's the petal. Wow. That's so quick. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah, yeah but it absolutely looks real. That's beautiful. I'm just going to tell people, Leah, that um, the, the tool, if you do want to get hold of that when you're checking out your basket, it's going to say, hey, do you want one of these? You go, yes, please, please. Could I have one of those? Yes. Um, yeah, definitely. And get extra of the florist tape as well while you're there. Uh, please check your baskets yes. out. I do need to tell you over a quarter of the stock has gone with your one day special. It's exceptionally busy. Please make sure you get extra of the crepe paper. Because obviously, once you've done this, you're going to be hooked. You're going to want to do more. So please make sure you get. And there's some lovely colours. Uh, oh, the rich colours are divine. So yeah, please make sure you check your baskets out. Right, back over to you, Leah. I'm loving this. This is fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to say, we have had so many people, um, you know, of our community who start making paper flowers, and it does become something like they all of a sudden are in this new realm of wanting to make more and more and it's yeah. a really great addiction don't yeah. you think oh yeah you know to I mean, just fill the world oh with... yeah and your house is going to look yeah. amazing isn't it all these gorgeous it paper is. flowers <laughs> yeah and you you can give them as gifts you yeah. know i do a lot of wreaths throughout my house yes. another thing i wanted to show you quickly though but while you're checking out because you might want to look at this so the kit includes everything you need except there's one wire that i added and this is something that i really recommend and it's the 24 gauge paper covered wire okay. and there's 50. so what i do is i glue a wire right between the leaves here and that's how you really can make it easy to shape and you can use other wire if you'd like to. The thing I like about this paper covered wire is that it um, it glues so nicely. I'm going to give you a demo on how to do that. Beautiful. Should we do that real quick? Yeah. Okay. Oh, we we won't see you do okay. anything, Leah. We're <laughs> just happy. <laughs> Yeah, and just know that all of this that I'm teaching you is in the is in the video. So if you Super. feel like you missed something, don't worry. You know, you'll get it. So notice on my leaves here, you can yeah. see the grain line is going at a V. Can you yes, see that? Yes. So when you cut out the leaves, it's really important that they stay. And I'll show you here on the pattern. You know, if you're cutting them on the cutting machine or if you're cutting them by hand, you'll want to make sure they're at this angle and you do not want to rotate them. Okay. That way, when you have the leaf complete, you can see this beautiful yes. V cut and the way that it, it, it wrinkles and the way it shapes itself is yeah. so lovely. Yeah. And that's, again, this is the, the, the beauty of this crepe paper is that it will do this. So I'm gonna show you how I make my leaves. This is such a fun thing. This is a brand new packet. So I'll open it up. Hi. And I'm these are brand new, these are brand new wires to us, you guys. We just got them in the last couple weeks. Hooray. So, so the brand new for Teller. <laughs> yes. All right, so I can usually get, whoops, can't pick it up here. I can usually get two leaves out of a wire, so I'll go ahead and cut it in half, and I keep all of my bits and pieces of the wire when I'm done. And then I like to use just a white glue. You know, you can use white glue and you can use hot glue for most of your crepe paper flowers, but cool. when you put together petals and leaves with these wires, you really do want the white glue. Okay. Now, this is my trick. So I'm going to take my wire and lay it on top of my leaf and I'm pinching it right at the base. So you can see it's not quite at the tip there, but I'm pinching it right at the base. I'm going to slide in to my Okay. And give it a little this glue isn't isn't really full, but I'm gonna give it a nice pinch so I have a beautifully coated wire there. Perfect. And down it goes. Then I will just sandwich 
the wire between the two crepe papers. Ah, that makes sense. Look at that. Yeah. And I'll press it down so you can see the, the wire coming through, which is beautiful in itself. I'm going to flip that over. It's okay if a little glue squeezes out because it will dry clear. Cool. And then you can take your little scissors and clean up the tip. And that is how you make a beautiful leaf. Oh, wow. And you can bend it. You can stretch it a bit if you want to, to give it that ruffle. Yeah. And then the way that I like to do it is I, I tape three of them together and make this cluster, but you could, you know, arrange them as you want. This makes a really nice cluster if you're making yes. a bouquet and you want to add it in. You can also add them to your wire. You can oh, yeah. um, put use floral tape and add it to your wire. That looks so if you effective. Want to do that. I love the color that as well. Beautiful? That green is absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It really is. This is one of my favorite greens. We use it quite a bit. And this, you know, it comes in your kit, but you can also get extra of this green in a single pack. Yeah. And this is the extra fine crepe paper. Okay. So, you know, we have extra fine here and we have the heavy or the double sided crepe paper here. I'm going to show you a little bit more demo on that. So here's our extra fine crepe paper. I'm just going to show you a quick stretch test because that's really fun to watch. Beautiful. Here's extra fine. Here's double-sided. I could have had these cut out. And then here's heavy. Ah, cool. So these are the three different crepe. Yeah, these are, these are the three different crepe papers that we sell. And we have a little bit of heavy samples for you guys if you want yes. to try that out. We use it the least, but for some flowers it's important. So our extra fine crepe paper is delicate. It's almost like fabric. Yeah. But the thing that's important about it that's different than Chinese crepe paper is that it has this wow. beautiful stretch. Wow, Look that's at that. amazing. Uh -huh. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. And then our double-sided, because it's two of these glued together, and you can see there's a slight color variation, yes. which I love. Yeah, I love that. That doesn't stretch. Yeah, it doesn't stretch quite as much, but that's when you want to have a very slight stretch, but you want that velvety finish. Yes. So that's when you use this crepe paper. And then here's the heavy crepe paper, and this is great for really large head peonies or bigger flowers, and this one just really stretches. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> so we, have, we have flowers that we use, you know, different papers for different parts of the flowers, so we like having all three available for you. So anyhow... But there, would you like me to show how to make a bud, a rose what, bud? What I'll do, I'll have a little recap because it is so busy <laughs> and then we'll be back to you. Oh my gosh. Okay, almost half of the stock has already gone of the one day special. We are 20 minutes in and almost half of the stock has gone. I am not surprised. Have you seen what you've got? I mean, the flowers that you are creating, just seeing the roses, absolutely blew, blew me away. But when you see the peonies, when you see the beautiful, beautiful lilies, I mean, there's so much. So remember, in this kit, you are getting the poppet, the peony, and the rose. I mean, the when she showed, when Leah showed the poppies, oh my gosh, they look phenomenal. Um, and I just, when you know that you're working with quality materials, I mean, I said that green was amazing. That green looks like velvet. You know when um, Leah was saying, about it looking like it, it's so fine it looks material that looks in real life that looks like velvet it's just incredible um such a beautiful sheen now quality materials you've got your video tutorial you've got everything you need to make multiple flowers and that's a lovely thing as well you know you're not making one or two you are making multiple flowers so this is going to be a big kit in its own right but you've then got your video tutorials don't worry this is sped up you don't need to do it at this pace which would actually be really funny but it is okay it is sped up and i love this because it's step by step you can and i mean it's filmed beautifully so you can see exactly what Leah's doing. Please make sure when you're checking out your basket, you get that tool, that shaping tool, because that will help you create the shapes. And I must admit, yeah, when um, Leah said, you know, you can work with scissors, thing is with scissors, you worry, don't you? Back in your mind's worrying that you're going to rip it or, you know, it's going to go through the crepe paper. So it's really nice to have the proper tool, especially as I imagine this becomes a little bit of a, a serious hobby, a serious hobby. Um, oh, I really want to. 
to go. I really do. I hope Miss P's watching this. Our Paula makes beautiful paper flowers. She'll love these. Now, if you do want this, 369411. Um, it is brand, brand new, brand new. Um, the wonderful Leah joining us here at the craft store. I am so pleased I've got this show. You are saving £15, but you need to be checking out your baskets because half of the stock has already gone. Two payments, 22.49. so affordable. Now, that's your one-day special. That's where you can get your tutorials, but then this is where you get your extra crepe paper. Now, remember, this is quality crepe paper manufactured in Germany. This is what Leah sourced and is in partnership with... Um, the German company to bring quality materials. Now, this is your double-sided crepe paper. And as Lee was saying, you can see there's a slight colour variation on these, which is lovely because when you're creating those flowers, it gives you more depth to those flowers. And you can see straight away there. Now, it is a pick and mix. You're choosing any two packs so you've got 25 sheets in here as well now your first one is your white and your vanilla which is beautiful and then your vanilla chiffon so you can see there that's your uh, the white and vanilla i believe and that'll be let me turn it around because i want to see both sides and then that is that vanilla chiffon yeah they're beautiful so that's your first option um the next one that we've got oh i've mixed i've messed that up a little bit sorry that's with me wanting to show you both sides i'm making a mess um so that's your first option i tell you what if you're buying this as a gift everything's beautifully packaged if you get this as a gift whoever you give it to is going to really really appreciate this um the next one that we've got this is your blush and chiffon and then I'm going to turn it around because you need to see both sides. And that's your peach and your petal. So, again, that's your second option. £12.99. Remember, you are choosing two. Um, the next one that we've got, you've got the honeysuckle and coral. And then the apricot and light rose. Yeah exquisite aren't they and remember these ones are that beautiful double sided and you're choosing any two uh, so you are getting two packs the next one that we've got is your strawberry and tulip and then you've also got the flamingo and peony wait a minute that's the flamingo and peony so oh that's nice isn't it that's your flamingo and peony let's keep that right there um the next one that we've got for you Mm, this is now look at the color of that the sangria and aubergine that is amazing and then the next one is your cherry and raspberry oh aren't these colors fabulous imagine what see and that two-tone imagine creating flowers with that that is going to look so good and then you need your foliage you need your foliage you've got your green tea and cypress and that comes, oh, look at that. The fern and the moss, yeah, you need that because you need your foliage. Okay, super, super busy. Please check your baskets out. The choice is yours um, too. So, if you're getting two packs, so you'll be getting four packs. That's for just 12 99 that is so good because you're getting two colours in each pack. That is so good. Twelve ninety nine. Um, eight zero three six zero eight is your item number. So that's your double sided. We've then got the extra fine. Now the bundles here are huge. You're getting a lot of crepe paper. This is the extra fat, and yeah, you can tell as soon as you get this home, you'll be able to see how how beautifully. I mean, look how fine that is. It's almost see through. You can almost see my thumb through that. Incredible. Okay, now, um, the first, now, you've again, it's up to you. You've got two packs, but look how much you are getting here. 200 centimetres. Now, that works out at, how many metres is that, Arcata? It works out at two metres. Sorry, I should know that, should I? <laughs> that would brain switch off. Uh, two metres in each one. I mean, look at that. Two metres of crepe. That is a lot, a lot of crepe paper which is amazing. You are going to get four metres for 16.99. This is quality stuff. So, your choices. So, you've got the fern. You've then got that beautiful soft blush. You've then got the chiffon. We've also got the beautiful vanilla. And then we've got the linen. Stunning. We've then got the black onyx, which is amazing. We've also got the beautiful evergreen. We've then got the juniper. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? The merlot which is just sent, but the aubergine. I must admit that aubergine. I'm not normally a purple fan, but that is 
That's amazing. Again, when you think of flowers in these, they're going to look, that is going to look so rich, isn't it? 16.99, that's for four meters. That is a lot of crepe paper. Um, 328076 is your item number. Now, what I do love is that Leah, Leah is describing why we need the different weights, what you'll be using them for. The last one, and she's just given us this little taster, if you will, because this is your heavy crepe paper. And again, this is the one that has that super stretch. And of course, you can really tell the difference. You know, that is, as she says, way heavier. I, I'm dying to stretch it. I'm not going to. I'm going to be really, really good. I'm not going to destroy anything. Um, so your colours here. So you again, you're choosing two packs. So you can choose the same one if you want to. Um, you are getting, it's 25 by 100 centimetres here. So your first one, you've got um, that beautiful... What colour is that, Arcata? <laughs> That's your honeysuckle. We've then got the coral, beautiful. And then we've got eggnog. Um, there is chiffon available in this one as well. That was chiffon, wasn't it? Yes, that was your chiffon. So that one is available in this as well. Uh, so that's in your heavy, heavy duty. Um, now, if you would like to get hold of those, 323524 is your item number. Again, you are checking two out. Um, it is important you check out your baskets. If you are just joining us, if you check your baskets out now, after 10 minutes, our baskets do refresh. So if you haven't checked your baskets out, and I know it's, it's quite annoying, really, but it's the way it is. Um, when you go back, if you haven't checked your basket out, unfortunately it'll be empty after 10 minutes so and then you'll have to do all your shopping again so please check those baskets out check out the website it is thecraftstore.com or you can ring us 01733602000 and i know it is busy um in the uk and over in uh, europe as well please check out our freedom club especially if you're, you're shopping abroad you can join freedom which means you don't have to pay postage on any of your orders so it is a good way of saving money especially if you're going to be buying from us here at the craft store okay that's my bit done now the fun bit let's go back to leah leah back to you <laughs> you did such a great job i love that oh i, I, I love, love my job somebody else talk about this <laughs> <laughs> i love my job too <laughs> i one thing i wanted to mention too is that in every pack there are you know 12 balls which means you can make 12 blooms however when i make the poppy i like to use half of the balls to make these little poppy pods ah, you can see that yes but you could make nice. you could make 12 poppies there's plenty of crepe paper to make that uh, you'll have some crepe paper left and then for these i like to make uh three of the large peonies and then three of the um the buds and then i also make some of these smaller ones but you have enough to make six and six if you want to so you know you have plenty of of crepe paper for that then for the roses again like i said you have enough to make 12 different size so just just a little heads up there but i want to show you the close-ups of this one i know this this one um wow didn't didn't get i i shipped you a bunch of flowers but that one i'll be shipping here soon and then oh, here's our poppy fabulous. look at all that detail oh that is amazing and we have that poppy bud again yeah. is just incredible that's incredible. Isn't that fun? Yes. And the beautiful thing about poppies, Icelandic poppies come in almost any color. Like you could use any of the, the whites, the corals, the yellows that could yeah. make this flower. So once you use up your kit, which there's plenty of crepe paper for more flowers than, than 12, um, you'll have extra to make more poppies as well. Amazing. Amazing. So, yeah, I'll show you the other color of poppies. Here's, oh. here's the dusty and then the coral they're very similar but wait maybe that's the same one i did ship you guys some of these there we yes, go there's have. two more colors there oh they're so beautiful so, they're beautiful and they're so much fun to make yeah, yeah. they're so much fun i'm going to be demoing some of this because in, in this one you know you you were saying how people are afraid to uh tear their crepe paper in yes. this demo i'm going to be wrinkling up the petals and twisting Oof. So you, you guys got to come back for that demo. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you're getting a bit rough with your poor petals. So, <laughs> you really do. You really do. So I was going to show you just a quick demo. And go ahead, when you're ready to hop back in, just go ahead and take it over. Super. So for this one, I have my wire. Okay. And I have the ball. And this is how I start the rose. And this is the reason why we really like having um, having 
all of the bits and pieces so you can feel like you have everything in front of you. And that includes the wire and then the foam ball and the foam ball will help you form the rose. It gives you a starting place. Super. So I'm using six of these little tiny petals and this will be the first piece. And what I'll do is I'll curl it, the first piece, one direction, and then I'm going to stretch it. Beautiful. I'm just showing you guys how easy it is to work with this crepe paper. Yeah. And, and Adding I, some glue. I presume, Leah, not all crepe papers are the same. And is this, this is why I presume you work specifically with um, the, the German manufacturer because of the quality. That is true. Um, the German manufacturer is the only one that makes double-sided crepe paper. And I have to say, it is the most glorious crepe paper. Yeah. And uh, the, you know, I, I there, there's any crepe paper that you purchase, whether it's from China or there's a purpose for it. There's a reason yes. for it. I think some of the lower quality, less expensive crepe papers are great for kids crafts, you yes. know, so I don't want to diss any crepe paper. I think it's all beautiful material. But if you want to have this luscious looking rose, this is going to be the double sided crepe paper. And also the extra fine crepe paper that we use, you know, for our poppies. And this is unique to them too. This right. is a unique weight and hand yeah. so that's why i i really love working with these guys look at how i have a little hat on my, that's so my ball cute. here you've created an elf already <laughs> i did <laughs> i mean this is i i actually had a um after i did it a, a video i had one of my little one of my friend's daughters here and she's eight years old and she sat down and made a rose right oh. after i did wow. she just copied me and it looked so cute oh. all right so now i'm going I actually, I just did this wrong. So now I have five petals and this is kind of a fun thing. I'm gonna curl one side, turn it over, curl it the other way and see how I get this S shape. Oh yes, yeah. So this is how I'm going to make that inside, how the petals start to open up yes. and it, it rotates inside of itself. Yeah, of course. It looks so easy to manipulate, Leah. It, it just seems to, to move beautifully. It really does, especially with this curling tool. And I really yeah. encourage people to, you know, get over being afraid. I know it's this m lovely, luscious craft material, but just get in there and try. Maybe yeah. take a few scrap pieces and try, you know, curling first just to get the feel of it. I think when we start new crafts or we try new hobbies, you know, you just need to give yourself a little bit of time to get used to the material. Yes. The next thing I'll do is, is just stretch it. I mean, think about, you know, if you're going to pick up a violin, it takes you a little bit, right, <laughs> to learn how to play that violin. Now I'm turning it so that the, the peach side is up and the pink side is down. That way they're all the same. Okay. And I'm just giving it a bit of a stretch. And I love this because it's, it's where you put the stretches. It's where you put the curls. That makes all the difference, which is why your video tutorials are, are essential, isn't it? I think so. You know, and I, I feel that we've had so many people, we, you know, we, we do quite a few videos and we have um, a community and so many people say that just watching and seeing it visually helps them yeah. understand it. And I'm a visual learner too. So the trick on this first petal, I'm just going to put glue on the left hand side because I'm going to be tucking a petal in and I'm put, I'm placing the edge right at the tip there. Okay. So you can see how I'm kind of halfway through. Yeah. This will go really fast now. Okay, whoops, there goes my petal. Now mm -hmm. I'm covering the tip with glue and I placed the point at the wire and then I placed the petal halfway around okay. the other petal. So you can see how I'm doing kind of a half cover, half cover. Yes. You know, overlapping yes. them. Yeah. So the way that this particular pattern is set up is that you just, it's, it's almost like color in the lines. You know, yeah. <laughs> you just make sure that point point is right there at the wire, and then you just line it up halfway. Yes. So just following and, it round. Yeah, and then we'll do that the same thing with the last two. But the last one, the very last one, I'm going to tuck it underneath the first one. Beautiful. Oh, that looks so realistic. Oh man, it is so much fun. And I think there's just something so healing and beautiful yes. about creating with your hands and making beauty, yes. you know, with your own hands. Now I'm going to take this first petal and peel it back just a bit, add some glue, 
and then I'll wrap that over the top. Oh, that's and there's so my pretty. center. That's so pretty already. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, so that is the beautiful. Thing that I like to tell people, if you're making a whole bunch of roses, make all of these first, and that way you'll get really good at it. Just do it over and over again. Yes. And then you can pick your, your best three and make those your final buds, and then your other ones can go inside the roses, ah, inside the rest. Petals. Amazing. Isn't That's that a great tip? Such a yeah. good tip, yeah. Um, Leah, can I just give people a bit of an update? Yes. Sorry to interrupt, but yes, yes. it is so, so busy. Um, in fact, over 60% of the stock has gone. This is super, super busy. I am not surprised. Um, people are sat at home going, yep, yeah, I'd love to create these. I mean, can, can I pick one of these up and show folk? I know I might never get it back, but it's just incredible. And I will tell you, I did say about our Miss P, because our Paula's got beautiful handmade flowers in her house um, and she actually made them in 2015 um, and she is a massive fan of Leah. And honestly, they are stunning. They're absolutely stunning. I know Paula is a massive fan and has, um, has actually uh, picked up loads of hints and tips from Leah on how to create beautiful flowers. And yet, they still look absolutely sensational. I mean, look at that that you are creating. So you've got the beautiful poppy let me find that poppy for you i mean look at that poppy oh that is fabulous um really oh yeah there that one's easier to show you so you've got the beautiful poppy you then get in in your kit the gorgeous peonies one of miss p's favorite flowers that's the peony and you can see the double-sided and that see now that's why you want that double-sided because it gives you that tone. I mean, the, the, doesn't it look realistic because of the colour? Oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful. And then in the other one, of course, you've got the rose, which is just sensational. I just want to go and see. I'm terrible because I just want to touch them all, don't I? Um, yeah, I, I kind of, it's almost realistic enough to smell. Oh, they're fabulous. It, the flowers are beautiful, but you need the foliage. You're going to learn how to make the foliage. The colours of the crepe paper for the foliage are sensational. Um, and it's the amount you can create with this. And there's so many fabulous hints and tips. I mean, oh, anyway, um, if you do want to go for this, Three six nine four one one two payments of only twenty two forty nine. So very affordable for what you're actually going to be able to create. And oh my gosh, please check your baskets out and please check your baskets out on the double sided crepe. This is busy you're picking any two packs that means you're going to get four packs of this sensational crepe paper. Now remember, as Leah said. Um, the manufacturer, the German manufacturer, this is their product. You know, this is, uh, you're not going to get it anywhere else. And what I love about this, of course, is the quality. And also, the finished result, it looks sensational. So, your first option, you have got, um, so, you've got the white and vanilla, and then you're going to get the vanilla and the chiffon. Absolutely gorgeous. That's your first one. The next one that we've got for you is the blush and the chiffon, and then the beautiful peach and the petal, which again, really beautiful. The next option that we've got for you, um, the honeysuckle and the coral, and then Oh, look at that. The apricots and the light rose. I mean, you've already seen how good they look when they're in those beautiful peonies. Imagine working with these. The next one, love this. Um, so you've got the strawberry and the tulip, and then the flamingo and the peony. I might have shown you that the other way around. Yeah, I think I have. Uh, but it doesn't matter. You get them both, and they're both beautiful. Next one. This is actually one of my favourites. Oh, because that's sangria and aubergine. That is is such a good colour. And then look at that beautiful poppy red. Um, so that is your, what's that one, Arcata? Cherry and raspberry. Mm -mm. And then last but not least, essential. In fact, this is the most popular. Um, the green tea and the cypress, and then the wonderful fern and the moss. That is super busy. Please check your baskets out. I love that you've got that option. You've got such a good option. And only £12.99. Pence. Pop that in your flexi basket, remember. And it's 6 50 this time, 6 50 next time. And it's going to be sent out from the 30th of April. 803 um, It is the craftstore.com or 01733602000. Oh, we've only got 15 minutes. This hour's gone way too fast. Um, Leah, back to you. Back to you, Leah. 
Okay, a couple things I wanted to show you. I have this little chart that I keep for myself because I, I like to, you know, keep all my crepe paper straight. We have this uh. downloadable for you guys that you can trim and glue your own pieces. But just so you know, the honeysuckle coral apricot rose is actually what the is in the rose kit. Uh. And then the strawberry tulip flamingo in pink is what is in the peony kit. Ah, and also okay. I wanted to point out in the in the updated peony uh, video that I have for you guys when you purchase this kit, you can make the one that's a little bit more simple, which is the one that you have there in your studio. But this is my newest version that I show you all the details of how to make this. And again, you know, we just keep getting better and better. So we wanna yeah. share all of our newest tips and tricks to everyone, but it's everything that's in the kit. And then I just made a few revisions Amazing. on the cutting and then I added I added some detail into the center look at that oh that's so nice wow that looks beautiful yes. and and the crazy thing is is this is simple to make a beginner can make this flower wow. and make it look as beautiful as this I've wow. seen it again and again so don't don't get intimidated <laughs> because they do they do look so professional don't they that's the thing. And they, as a beginner making something like that, I mean, that just gives you such a sense of achievement. It really does. It really does. I'm going to show you the final little step on this rosebud Amazing. where I have this extra fine crepe paper. And look how I just stretch the center of this little piece. And it just makes this beautiful shape naturally. It's a very organic shape. And I need six of these. I might only use five, but I'll go ahead and stretch six of them. That's really easy to do. Okay. So we'll do that, and then I'll add some glue to the base. You can use white glue if you want to. White glue is a very wonderful thing for uh, crepe paper flowers. You just want to make sure that you don't use too much white glue. Yeah. I had turned off my um, glue gun, so I'm going to use white glue for the rest. <laughs> and this is a new little tube I'm testing out, so let's see if it works. Yeah, you can just put a little white glue. You don't want too much. Uh, crepe paper will melt down with white glue if you use too much. And All see right. how I'm just using the sepal to cover the base? Yes. And it's just a great way to finish it. Yeah. So that was really easy. That's so easy, but so beautiful. That's gorgeous. And I love it. So with the, the kits, all the um, the templates, they're in there as well. So you get the right size every single time. So the kit has the templates and with your purchase, you will have immediate access and I'll show it to you right here. So the tip, the kits have the templates that look like this, but this is an older version and then we've made it some updated versions. So you can use either one. I will tell you though, this one's easier. Okay. I just, you know, I really took the extra um, crepe paper out to just make it work better. Yeah. So if you do get the kit, I really highly suggest you go ahead and download this one. You can save this one for another time or just keep Fabulous. it, you know, as a pretty picture. <laughs> so, <laughs> just inspiration. But you do get this immediately. Yep, inspiration. So, you know, we'll, we're, we're offering this one and the whole tutorial on how to make this version. Amazing. So, yes. Amazing. So just yes. download that and you've got that. Oh, that looks absolutely yeah. fabulous, Leah. And you can download it in the, you know, hand cut it with your PDF, or you can get an SVG cut, uh, cut file for your Cricut or your Silhouette. Amazing. So, Amazing. Yeah. And it's a rotary blade that you need to be cutting with your crepe paper. Yes, a rotary yes. blade, absolutely. But, you know, we, I cut a lot of them by hand, so yeah. you don't need a cutting machine. I think there's something really beautiful about getting in there and, yeah. and cutting by hand. Can you, with the crepe so, paper, can you cut layers at a time? Yes, you can. In fact, I'll show you a little demo of that. Um, here I have, this is something that um, I like to do is I will, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna use a pattern, I'm just gonna show you because I know we're at the end of the hour here. So we just have a few minutes. So if I have a pattern, and I'm gonna pretend this is my pattern, it's not, and say it's this size, I'll, I'll fold the crepe paper the width, and I have it a bit wider, but that's okay. And then I'll just cut and layer like this, ah. and I have, Sort of, I have a, a basic roll. Now I'm using a lot of waste here. I wouldn't waste this much crepe paper. Yeah. But look at how many layers I have. And with some really nice sharp scissors, 
that will work. And I, um, I like to have two sizes of scissors when I work. I like one long blade like this yeah. to do long cuts. And then I love these little tiny detail scissors because you can get in there and get some detail. You know, yeah. you can, you can get in here and just work it out. Amazing. And that so, just neatens it up yeah. as well, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm just kind of playing right now. This isn't a real flower. <laughs> I'm just kind of demonstrating how to cut crepe paper. So yeah, when you cut by hand, you can speed it up by cutting in layers. And I absolutely recommend that. Yeah, that's brilliant because yeah, so. it's time saving. And as long as you're cutting on the right grain, then you're, you're absolutely per um, It's absolutely fine. Okay, everybody, 70% yes. of the stock has gone. It is super, super busy. This is a long show. Then 70% of the stock has gone. Oh, Leah, I'm not surprised at all. I mean, you know, they just look sensational. The kits are beautiful. The crepe paper is wonderful. And obviously your demonstrations are just, it just makes us all want to go home and do this, quite frankly. I'm, I'm stealing myself. I'm not touching anything. I'm being really good, but I'm dying to have a go, Leah. These are beautiful. Um, if you do want your fantastic one day special, 369 411 is your item number. Um, remember, you are saving £15. You've got your tutorials, you've got the patterns to download uh, that Leah was just chatting about. Um, well, the, the templates, I should say, patterns templates. Um, so you've got those to download, and basically, you've got a whole community, and it's a big community um, that Leah's built up to inspire and to give you loads and loads of help and ideas and then oh my gosh your friends are gonna love you when they get gifts like this honestly you're gonna become like one of the most popular people that everybody knows and um, now Papa your people um three six nine four one one is your item number um, and that saving is fabulous um, a three quarters of the stock has gone please make sure you do pop the extra crepe paper into your basket because you'll be able to split the cost but it does mean once you've used a crepe paper in your kit you can carry on because imagine running out of paper <gasps> oh don't do that don't do that that would be awful um, okay now how much time have we got left five minutes Leah we've only got five minutes um, what would you like to show us in the last five minutes lovely Leah <laughs> well, one of the things that I like to do to finish my stem is I'll use this um, this tape that comes in your kit, and I'm going to thicken up my stem. And this is a tape that's wax, so you, when you when you work it, you need to stretch it and warm it with your fingers to make it actually stick. So this is a, a floral tape that's used by florists when they're making corsages and boutonnieres and whatnot. So you can see I'm thickening up the stem just a bit. And then what I like to do to finish this is I'll take my extra fine crepe paper and I'm not going to demo it, but I have a piece. I'll cut a little strip off the end just yeah. like this. Then I will use my white glue and I'll use it as a finishing touch so that everything on my flower is crepe paper. Ah, I'll see. place that on the top and then just wrap that stem. Once I get it going, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and add some glue down the stem a bit, just right onto the wire. Okay. And that's just a really beautiful kind of, you know, elegant way to finish your rose. Yeah. Yeah, because everything matches then, and it matches um, in the colour as well, doesn't it? It's, it's, the tone it is perfect. It does, yes. I also use this floral tape if I wanted to add some leaves onto this stem, which I think I'm going to show you um, if we have time. We probably don't have time. I'll do it next time. Uh, we'll be back, won't oh, we? Oh, you're, you're <laughs> going to be back. Um, you've, <laughs> well, here UK time, it's going to be 8 o'clock. What time will it be your time? Where? What time is it now, Arlia? What it will be noon our time, so oh, I'll back, be back here for my lunch. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll and be, more demos. We'll, we'll be joining you for lunch. That will be fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, have we have we run out? How much time have we got? Have we? Oh, we've got three minutes, Leah. If there was something you oh. wanted to show, is that is that not enough time, really? Oh yeah. Let's let's go ahead and show. So here, it's easy. So I have my leaf here, Beautiful. and if I wanted to have the leaves stick you know the the stem sticking out i would yes. cover that with paper but say i just wanted to 
put it right onto the stem. And this is a beautiful way to finish a flower is to add the foliage. Like you said, every yes. flower needs foliage. And you see how I'm using my floral tape just to tie it tightly, wrap it together. Yeah. And that makes a really nice finish. Then I will go ahead and cover that with the paper. Beautiful. And then you have this beautiful rosebud. That Look at was that. quick. That was amazing. Uh. Oh, Leah. It's... I'm quick on my toes. <laughs> I suppose you've made quite a few flowers now, haven't you? I think I have, yes. <laughs> and again, we, you know, my team and I, we inspire each other and we just help each other get better and better at making these yes. and also making it easier for everyone to make. Yeah, I love that, yeah, because it's only with experience that you, and teaching, you know, teaching, knowing how people learn helps you teach, doesn't it? It really does, yes. Uh, it does. I oh, love having Leah. the feedback of all of our members. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you've got a lot of members now. Uh, Leah, thank you ever so much. Um, Leah will be back with us at 8 p.m. Uh, thank you, Leah. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you ever so much, Leah. And I know it's all my colleagues, uh, all my colleagues who are going to work with you are going to have such a nice day tomorrow. So thank you, Leah. Thank All you. right, we'll see you again. See you at 8 o'clock. Well, see you for lunch. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> okay, folks at home, it is busy. So 80% of the stock has gone. Now, this is the launch hour. 80% of the stock has gone. So the dispatch that time, it's going to be sent out for you on the 30th of April. So you haven't got long to wait at all. Obviously, coming over from America, which is really impressive. Um, it's the quality. It's what you can create. I mean, when you look at these, I love it because, um, for starters, I love Leah's enthusiasm. I love her passion. I think that, that watching her is just going to enthuse you. You know, you're going to, to watch Leah and you're going to want to create these. And I love that because obviously it's just, it's energizing, isn't it? And you know, you'll watch her and not only will you create something beautiful, but it'll feel good, definitely. It's got that feel good factor. The wonderful thing is about these, and I know, I've, I've seen Paula's in a house, they look amazing. And the thing is with them, they, they look really impressive if it's just a single stem. But when you've got something like this, when you've got a display like this, I mean, literally, you can just put a few flowers together with the foliage, with a bud, and it is going to look amazing. But yes, you can create the most incredible uh, bouquets here. Now, what you're gonna be using these for I mean gifts. These are going to be the most incredible gifts. You can be thinking weddings, you can be thinking parties, hospital, of course, um, which again, something like this. It might be a flower on a box, it might be on a gift bag, it might be the, the, the wires you can wrap round, it might be wrapped round a bottle. You know, there's so many uses for these. Literally just decorating your home. It's going to look sensational. And the thing is, because you've got so much colour choice, you can really really, really match the colour of your florals to the actual home decor colour choice that you've got in your home. Um, they're just beautiful. Quality materials, everything you need. You can download the, the template. You've got the video tutorials, which is sensational. Wow, I've taught for all that time. And honestly, I could talk more. I haven't even told you about the crepe paper. Uh, please check your baskets out. You have got all the extra crepe paper. So excited. Um, yeah, don't miss out on this. It is your one day special. Join Leah again at 8 o'clock. Don't miss that show.